show your support, like, share and subscribe. Well, it's another fortnight. We're back again. And we are, yeah, we are back we keep, again. We keep coming back. Can't get rid of us. No, even if you want us to, we keep coming back. Sorry. We will keep appearing on your news feeds. <laughs> oh, how are you anyway? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Managed to kind of get back on top of things and uh, get back organised. What with Easter throwing a spanner in the works and whatnot, but... Oh, of course. Yeah, but no, we're, we're back on top and back on schedule and back where we want to be. Perfect, then. Been up to much? Uh, not really, just the Easter, again, as as, as you know. Mm-hmm. I try to sort of work ahead. Uh, what is it I did Sunday? Oh, I did the Get Fact on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Had that done. Uh, that got stopped initially for copyright stuff. Really? But I, yeah, yeah. But I appealed, and then went, you know, like to the fair use thing, and they were like, "Oh, okay, yep, yeah, that's fine." What? <laughs> Just because it had some gameplay in it? I think it was more the anime side of things. Oh, okay. But it was, uh, yeah, it falls under the uh, terms of the review and opinion based discussion. Yes. yes, and because jargon. it's such short clips, it's not like oh, you're yeah. here's an entire episode. I literally showed about ten seconds. Yeah, of exactly. That's three or four episodes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Otherwise, indeed. But it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Cool. Video was up. Got the master trainers up. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, but Wednesday just gone. Yep. They were fun to do. All three of the starters. Yeah, Blastoise threw me off completely. <laughs> Venusaur line was thoroughly samey, actually. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's fun to do. I've got more coming, obviously, every fortnight on a Wednesday. Are the next ones planned, or is that going out to a poll again? They are planned, actually. Oh, OK. If I lean over and grab my bag with my notebook in it. Oh, talk so much yourselves, all you? you. So <laughs> you've killed, you've, essentially, you've killed democracy and gone, nope, these are the ones I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, that's right. That that's exactly the way it should be. <laughs> yeah, I believe it might be um, Raticate, Nido King, and Nido Queen next. Oh, okay. One's hmm. nearer the beginning. Yes. Cool. And another two, three stage evolu- evolutionary lines. That would be fun. Oh yes, indeed, yes. And they are types that they are weak to, if that makes sense. Nido King is a poison and ground type, and it's oh, weak it's to weak ground to type itself. move. Yeah, of yeah. course. So it could be a quick one. Mm. <laughs> Just earthquake and whoever's quickest wins, I suppose. Better get some. But we'll uh, see. Yeah. Better get some quick candies then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, you got much planned for the upcoming week? Um, I oh, what is coming up this week? Oh, now you've <laughs> asked. Um, I have a gap in my schedule for this week, so I'm not entirely sure what to fill that with. I have one or two ideas, but I'm not entirely sure. And then we're kind of going into the next round of what I've already done in terms of my schedule. So we'll have a a, a roar after um, on the Thursday, I think. Um, And then another round of uh, The Sims. Oh, lovely. Where I go off to work. Because we, ha- we actually have an, an hour crossover where we're both out because you work early and I work late according to the jobs that we've got. So, Oh, great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I did catch up on this this, uh, this episode, so that was all right. Cool. Yeah, it's going well then. Happy being a journalist. <laughs> yeah, it's great. great <laughs> <laughs> Local newspapers are full of joy, basically. Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> Thug throws apple at car was my yeah. personal favourite. <laughs> Happened sometime between one eighteen and one twenty three pm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just, uh, twenty past one. And just... we we know it that specifically because it was the person that threw the apple that actually wrote into the newspaper <laughs> purely because they wanted to be in the local newspaper for something. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I've got a couple coming up this week, hopefully. Is this the Anything Can Happen week? Yes, it is. I've, I've started to do it okay. already. It's, uh, it's involving something that I'm probably... It's probably the thing I'm least good at in the world. <laughs> okay. So, it'll be interesting. Playing, it's the, gonna, you playing know. the spoons? What's that? Playing the spoons? Oh, I think I'm better at that than what I'm doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's a new style of video. Ooh. Not, like, massively different. Just, you know, I just try to mix it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I've done some filming in my garden, so... Okay. We've cool. got some... In um, some, what's the word? Uh, sort of hidden recording in the garden. Nothing sinister. <laughs> you know, it'll all you know. You'll all see hopefully Thursday. Cool. But yeah, it should be fun. Ooh. Yeah. Well, we've just come off the back of me watching a three-minute video. <laughs> uh, you asked me to watch as sort of research yes. for today. Yes. Just purely because it was quite <laughs> topical for the week, and it's got. Certainly, the the amount of people that are on my Twitter feed, or the majority of them, uh, had a lot of them talking Tuesday, Wednesday, and I kind of wanted to see what an outsider's perspective was. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting. Are you going to be leaving the link in the description? I will leave a link. Yeah, because unfortunately, as you say, for copyright reasons, that's probably the safest bet. Um, Indeed. It's on WWE's YouTube channel and it was broadcast on Monday Night Raw and Tuesday Smackdown Live. A little three minute clip of somebody we haven't seen for a while called Bray Wyatt, who used to be a cult leader. And as you'll see from the video, it now looks like he's a children's TV presenter. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, it's very. It's very different. Yes. Well, one of the criticisms that a lot of people have is that there's not really any characters anymore. There's there's no one being kind of different from everyone else. It's very kind of cookie cutter, good guy, bad guy, big guy do big powerful move or flippy guy do jumps off the top rope. <laughs> and there's not really a lot of personality to the people there's not really a lot of character to the people whenever they're doing promos in the ring it's clear they're just reading some verbiage written by some writers in the back of i'm going to beat you because i'm better than you and then i'll win yay so it was very refreshing from well my perspective and it seems from my Twitter feed's perspective, it was very refreshing to see something that, well, wasn't the same. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely isn't the same as anything I've ever seen. Mm. No. Except maybe those crazy children's shows from the 70s. Well, see, that's the, the interesting thing. Children's TV presenters now are kind of creepily happy. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> like, hi kids, I've spent all night up on kind of methylated spirits, but I'm putting on a <laughs> smile for you because it's seven o'clock in the morning and it, everything's all happy, lovely, wonderful. And <laughs> it's kind of, well, from what I got from it anyway, it was kind of those weird undertones, but without the subtlety. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of this man. <laughs> and when this came on, you gave me no context, which is fine. Yeah. And Ooh. I genuinely thought it was some sort of kid show and like a uh, wrestler had defected to children's <laughs> TV presenting. Ah, yes. <laughs> well, in fairness, the only context we had was it was in the middle of a wrestling show. <laughs> so it could have been genuine for all you guys well. know. It wasn't. I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. It's not genuine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yes. At the Firefly Funhouse. The Firefly Funhouse, yes. Think <laughs> Pat Sharp or Dave Benson Phillips. <laughs> oh, Dave Benson Phillips. That, that, that kind of TV presenter back in the, <laughs> I guess, sort of day. early 90s, late 80s. Yeah. Dodgy jumper and all. <laughs> in a kind of a bedroom scene. Yeah, in a That's in clearly a in cupboard. a studio, yeah. <laughs> reading letters out from the children exactly. saying happy birthday to everyone yeah that kind of thing 
but uh, with a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, I did get confused when that came. Well, actually, I got confused when the scary child doll thing came on. <laughs> <laughs> that would have terrified me if I was watching it live. Mm. What, if the... you were five years old? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that was interesting to see. And I was saying the thumbnail for when people go and watch the video, it does look like he's just Captain Kirk from Star Trek or something in one of the red uh, red jacket things. Yes. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I've not quite seen anything like that before. Yeah. Well, Would you watch that if it became a series? Well, <laughs> see, this is what has got people kind of discussing, is like, what does this mean then? Is this because he does say at the end, see you next week? So, is this <laughs> going to be sort of a month long pre recorded things? Is this going to be a segment that he does in the arena somewhere or potentially in the ring in front of a live audience? Um, mm. How is this going to play into when he actually wrestles matches? <laughs> is he definitely out of the wrestling loop? Um. Well, the problem is he got injured and has been not seen at all for uh, nine months. Oh, okay. So he's kind of out of people's consciousness apart from, oh, I wonder when he's getting back. And then we got this. <laughs> it's just him saying he's coming back. Well, yeah. It's, With it, a complete yeah. change of, of character and personality. But... At least it's a character. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> it's not just a one-dimensional wooden object. Mm. It Would you say it would make you take notice, at least? Mm. It def yeah. <laughs> yeah. If there was any more of that, I'd probably tune in to have a little look at it or find it on YouTube. Yeah. And at least sort of see what happens next. Yeah, it's certainly interesting. <laughs> what did you make of it anyway? Um, refreshing, to be honest, in a weird kind of way. Yeah. Horrible, creepy <laughs> undertones of... Because throughout all of it, you get canned children's reactions of cheering oh, yeah. and booing and <laughs> clapping and things like that. So it's... Whoever's come up with a concept, whether it be him or one of the writers or a mixture of the two, is just straddling that line of creepy horror movie of don't let this guy in your house because he'll murder you in your sleep with an axe. Probably, yeah. And then the other side of this saccharine sweet children's TV show where we all live in gumdrop land and... Everybody's happy, smiley, and there's a load of hand puppets that talk to the children and teach them about their numbers and the alphabet. And it kind of mushes them both together in equal amounts. Yeah. <laughs> well, it certainly looked like the guy himself had fun doing it. Yeah. Well, I think that was what was quite nice. You like, you can tell often. I am in the middle of the ring and I have a microphone in my mouth and I'm doing these words that I've just had to learn backstage. No, 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 let's fight. Yeah. So to veer away from that is rather interesting. Okay. And I'm not sure, because obviously I've kind of looked at it a couple of times and other people's discussions of it, but what was quite interesting was the, the time that he turned in his mindset was when he was listening to his hand which I don't know if you saw he had gloves on one yeah. with one with the word heel yeah. as in to heal not the wrestling bad guy oh, right. heel yeah because it H-E-A-L yeah it? and on the other one it said hurt and he was listening to the hurt hand which then made him get this chainsaw out and cut up a <laughs> a cardboard copy of his former self. So whether next week we get him listening to his uh, heel hand and maybe uh, he okay. sellotapes it back up or he's looking after one of the dolls or something next week while he's listening to the, the nice hand. Yeah. There's a lot of people with kind of going down the line of 
um, the James McAvoy film Split with all the split oh, personalities yeah. and whether that's going to play into it or not. Okay, but that's interesting. It's definitely got people talking at least and <laughs> that can't be a bad thing. And it's definitely going to be more of them, is there? Well, I would assume so. I mean, that's the only problem with WWE. They can start a storyline and then two weeks later just drop it like a lead balloon and go, no, that never happened. What are you talking about? Shut up. And <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, that, that was never a thing. <laughs> or they'll feed all these bits in and then there'll be absolutely no payoff. Sometimes because someone gets injured or suspended, but often just because they go, no, nah, we're bored of this storyline and they just go, nope. That's not a thing, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen. It seems like they invested a lot of time and effort into that one um, three-minute video. Yeah. So I'm sure they've recorded more. So time will tell, I suppose. Time will tell? Yeah. Okay, interesting to say that. Okay. Mm. But yes, we will leave a link in the description... In, in the, uh, description below just so that you can see it to gain some kind of context as to what the <laughs> hell we're talking about i would fully recommend it because <laughs> <laughs> it's an experience yes it's mental but yeah <laughs> fair enough over All to right, you then, well, sir <laughs> well if there's any more let us know <laughs> yeah yeah we'll see we'll see what's happened in a fortnight and maybe there'll be a couple more or an in-ring thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to... Oh, I don't know. Yes. I'm, pres I'm presuming your uh, contribution is a little bit more sane. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It's a repeat of something I've already done. Okay. But certain things got in the way, so I couldn't do it. Right. But essentially, uh, all those times ago... I can't even remember what episode it was. But when I asked you, like, to pick um, a Pokemon out of a group of three... And you were going to help me make my party. Oh, this was for when Let's Go came out, wasn't it, or something? Yeah, it was. This was like back in late October, early November oh, time. Oh, wow, was... this was probably on like Podisode 2 or something. Yeah, or three. Probably. Yeah. Somewhere around there, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. But yeah, I did that, and then obviously Game Catcher and Laptop, bleh. Oh, of <laughs> course, yes, because it kept jibbing out on you, didn't it? Yeah, I w yeah so it was around the release date, so I was actually going to be releasing playthrough during the hype of Let's Go, but hype's died down a bit now. <laughs> although, yeah, although I'll still be doing it anyway. Fair enough. I'm still going to do like a, uh, yeah, I'm still going to do a run through. Mm -hmm. Do sort of like thirty to sixty minutes a a, a go. Yep. Don't quite know how long that will take but we'll give it a go it'll be fun cool might not get all the way through but we'll see how it gets mm -hmm. but you know anyway you're going to re-pick the teams oh okay basically yes cool so I'm going to be doing it on Let's Go Eevee mm -hmm. and I am going to use yeah, luckily sorry, enough on. is the one I don't have yes <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to use Eevee okay because it can learn a multitude of moves and it's if people haven't seen the Let's Go really and they want to see that sort of thing, I'll let them see it. Mm -hmm. And it's a normal type, so it's only got one weakness, so that's actually all right. Mm. But yeah, so the the other five slots are up for grabs. Okie dokie. And essentially you're going to help me pick them. So until you catch the sixth one, or the fifth one, for these yeah. slots, are you going to have less than... You're not just going to fill it up with anything I'll, or or will you fill those slots up with duplicates of these ones that we've picked i'll probably fill those slots up with ones that need to evolve so that when they get the the experience they can evolve and i can fill that pokedex up a bit quicker oh okay and then swap and them possi out. possibly yeah possibly use them every now and again mm -hmm. but yeah no it should be fun okay should be well yeah like i say i'm starting with eevee so that's one yep <laughs> Uh, then after that, you've got a choice of three for slot two, and they are out of Butterfree, Raticate, and Victory Bell. Mm. Early on ones. I've tried not to include Pokemon I've used already on run-throughs. Yes. Oh, what, just to kind of mix things up for yourself as well? Yeah, so I've taken um, Pidgeot out of there because I'm actually using one at the moment. Yeah, fair enough. Just on a... 
on a on a let's go Pikachu one where I'm just trying to get to the end of the game so I can chain catch all the version exclusives that I haven't got on the other one for the Master Trainer series and all of the you know. So. Yeah, of course. Um, but yes, uh, Butterfree, Eradicate, and Victory Bell. I think I'm gonna go for a Victory Bell. Okay then. Any reason? Um, it. Well, you're going to need a grass type anyway to get into the first gym. Yes, very good point. And you... I don't believe, anyway, on the uh, Pikachu version, the version I've got, you can get a bell sprout very early. Or even right, at okay. all. You might not even be able to get it at all. No, I think it's a version exclusive yeah. to Let's Go Eevee. So, yeah. just for my own personal selfishness, it will make it a little bit more interesting for me because it's one that I can't experience. Yes. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. All right, well, in that case, Eevee and Victory Bell, the first two slots. Yes. So after I've gone through Mount Moon... Mm-hmm. Well, after, after I've beaten the gym and got to Mount Moon, I can go into the Pokemon Center and go to the Magikarp Salesman and, get, and train up for a Gyarados. Yeah. Or I can go into Mount Moon and catch... Um, a Geodude or a Zubat for Golem or Golbat. So the choices are for the next slot: um, Gyarados, Golem, or Golbat. Um, I think let's handicap you slightly and get you to get a Magikarp because it oh, can't okay, do then. anything for a while. <laughs> no, it can't. That is a really good point. <laughs> so until okay, it, until it evolves. Although, in okay. fairness, when it does evolve, you've then got... Is it a dragon type? It is a water flying type. Oh, water flying. Which uh. is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, then. Right, so that's three slots filled. Mm-hmm. I'm just making note of it. Okay. Right, well, basically, once I've done that, I've got three Pokemon. So I've got an Eevee, I've got a Victory Bell, and I've got... A magic arp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know, eventually I'll have victory. But anyway, <laughs> I then I then have access to all three of the starters at oh, some point yes, or you another. Do, don't you? Yes. Indeed. Well, I can catch them anyway. I can get a Charmander just before Mount Moon, a Bulbasaur in Viridian Forest, and a Squirtle just north of Cerulean. But if However, you catch enough, <laughs> you can get given one. Exactly. So I'll probably do some chain catching offline. Mm-hmm. But anyway, yes. So I needless needless to say, <laughs> Venusaur, Charizard, or Blastoise. It's got to be Charizard because you've already oh, got a water type and a grass type. So this exactly, at least make yeah. at least make things balanced for you. Otherwise, there you go. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. Yeah. So I've got I've got a normal, a grass, a grass poison, a water flying, and a fire flying actually. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, eventually, yes. Yeah. Gyarados needs to be Water Dragon. That's just ridiculous. It should be, shouldn't it? I swear it used to be a Dragon type, or maybe that's just me thinking it always should have been. Yeah, no, it wasn't, but it should have been. Mm. It was ridiculous. It got a Mega Evolution in X and Y. Right. Which got rid of the Flying typing and replaced it with the Dark type. Oh, <laughs> So everyone was like, you see the artwork for it, you're like, oh my god, a water dragon. There's like, this is water dark. You're like, what? No, it's not. <laughs> it, it's not. <laughs> Just because it's used by the baddie. Lysander. That, mm, that doesn't oh. make it a, a, a dark type itself. No. But anyway, that's a different... <laughs> that's a discussion for another time. Indeed. Yes. But anyway, I've got four in the party at this point, so mm-hmm. I'm doing well. Yep. Uh, in, in Mount Moon, I could get a fossil... And also in Pewter City, I could get the old Amber as a fossil. Very true. Um, yeah, so that would mean that I could either have a Kabutops, an Omastar, or an Aerodactyl. Ooh. Yeah, it is a tough one, actually. It is. I, I wasn't expecting I genu- you to include this, because that's still... You've got to wait a long time to actually get them, though, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be near uh, the end. Yeah. So this is almost like slot six. Yes, indeed. Okay. I genuinely don't have a personal preference over any of these three. I think Aer- I like. I think they're all solid contenders. Aerodactyl would be daft because it's yet another flying type. <laughs> yeah. So we'll discount true. that. 
So it's Kabutops or Omastar, which is a tough one, actually. They're both pretty cool. Yeah. Although Omastar, again, is a water type, isn't it? They both are. are They're they? both water rock. Yeah. Oh, are they? Um, but I can dupe up. It doesn't matter. I will go with... No, let's not go with on the star. No? No. Kabutops it is. Kabutops, it? yeah. It looks better. Once okay, it's evolved. Then. Once it's evolved. Yeah. <laughs> Alright then. Mm. There we go then. Okay. So that's... Mm, I wasn't expecting that choice. No, it's I've, I've never really used them. No, I don't I know never why, do, because I be like honest. them. Okay. It's probably just because you had to wait till so late on in the game. Yeah, and by then I've kind of established a team and... Yeah, I but like I reckon to... I can, I can cheat my way around that one though. Because I can either get myself to fuchsia very quickly, like once I've done all the, the um, Lavender Town ghosty story, yeah. and got and woken up Snorlax and all of that. I reckon I can go on the left hand side, and try and avoid all the battles. Get to fuchsia, get Eevee to learn um, Sea Skim. And then fly myself back to Pallet Town and go down to Cinnabar, avoiding all the battles again. Oh, you know, like a I cheap see. Pack. Go backwards, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Or get myself to Fuchsia like that and go to the... Go the long way uh, around. Go to Go Park, actually, because I might have a Kabuto on my Pokemon Go. No, that's but cheating. that could be like... <laughs> that is cheating, yeah. So I'll probably just oh, spend 20 minutes going that. Yeah, the flying around. over to Pallet Town and then and surfing back. Yeah, so I'll just do it the long way around, so I'll have it. Uh, but okay. anyway, that's the fifth slot. Okay. Maybe not slot five, but at least that's the fifth one. So the final one mm-hmm. is interesting, really. That's good. Um, the final one is going to be out of Kangaskhan, Chansey, and Pinsir. Ooh. Ones I've never properly used. Ooh. It was Tauros instead of Chansey, but I've used Tauros quite a lot. It's just that I really like it. So I, I've I swapped it out for Chansey because I've never used that competitively because it's usually quite bad. Mm. <laughs> it's attack um, stats are so low. And its yeah, defence is the lowest defence. It's yeah. got really high HP, hasn't it? And then just gets absolutely brutalised because it's got no defence. Yeah. Um, hmm... Even if you maxed out that defence, it probably wouldn't be enough. No, no, it's still a lot weaker than... And you think, oh, it's nice and strong because it's got really high HP and it just gets brutalised yeah. really easily. So I... it's the Chansey, Kangaskhan or Pinsir? I think we'll go with Kangaskhan. Yeah? Yeah. We can do that. Kangaskhan. There we go. Kangaskhan. Yeah. Right, Which can learn all the punches. Yes. Thunder Punch, Fire yes, Punch, can. Ice Punch, Dizzy Punch. I like Dizzy Punch. Punch can confuse. Yeah, can confuse the opposition. Mm-hmm. All right, then, well, the final team, everyone, is Eevee, Victory Bell, Gyarados, Kangaskhan, Kabutops, and Charizard. Hmm. That's all right. It's worked out that we've got two normals, two waters, two flying, and that's all right with me. Fairly balanced. Yeah, because it's basically, basically, I think Kabutops' secondary type is water, Charizard's secondary type is flying, Gyarados' secondary type is flying. So like, it's only really the secondary typings that are matching up. The primary typings are pretty oh, much just... pretty different, yeah. Yeah, normal grass, water, normal. Two normal uh, rock I suppose, fire. yeah. Yeah, but that's fine. Hmm. I don't mind. I quite like the normal type, especially Generation 1. You've got bloody loads of them. There are quite ones. a few, yeah. Yeah. As you'd know with your normal run through. I haven't played that for a while actually. I need to get yeah. back onto that. Yeah. That was kind of my discovering that Chansey isn't as good as I thought it was. <laughs> when I kept no. caught it, I was like, Ooh, that looks quite strong and then it kept getting beaten. <laughs> yeah, its defence is absolute toilet. terrible. <laughs> yeah. And its magic defence is just as bad. Yes. But at least you've got Kangaskhan, Tauros, Porri Snorlax. Liquid Tongue eventually, yeah. uh, Eevee, even Raticate to be honest is alright. Yeah, well I've got Just both types everyone. of Raticate as well, which is yeah. quite nice, and um, Pidgeotto which is quite handy. Oh of course, yeah, Fearow. Yeah, I'm kind of, well I always tended to use Pidgey instead of Spearow. Yeah. 
and now obviously I've been kind of limited on purpose and uh, kind of forced me to use Spiro and Fear Eyes. I'm like, oh, actually, I quite like these. Yeah, and even my could... even my Pikachu now is specifically normal moves only. Yeah. Headbutt, quick attack, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah, that sounds yeah. alright. Yeah. Alright then. Well, good. I'll probably look into trying to get this run through sorted for the coming week. Along oh, okay. With the, cool. the thing that I'm not very good at in the world ever, which is <laughs> going to be interesting. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, no, well, um, well, thank you everyone for listening yet again. Indeed. And getting to the end. <laughs> Have a biscuit. I've progressively got more and more tired after getting in at three in the morning from watching end games. Um, <laughs> as we're recording this, it's eight o'clock and I may end up in bed by nine. So. Ah, oh, sleepy pidge. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Spoil- we'll see what happens. Spoiler alert, some of the people die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There is, there is, there is death in the film, whether it's the baddies or the goodies. <sighs> it would be a weird superhero film if we got to the end and literally no one of either side died. <laughs> I think that would be quite good. That would be in, well, yeah. It might be slightly yeah. anticlimactic depending on how you do it, but it would certainly be surprising. <laughs> It'd be as surprising as Pat Sharp with a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> well. on that note, thinking of Pat Sharp with a chainsaw. <laughs> oh, if we were given these episode titles, that's, that would be it. Pat Sharp with Pat a chainsaw. Pat Sharp with a chainsaw. It's a fun house. It's yes. a real crazy show where anything goes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, well, yes. Uh, thank you for listening again. I wish you'll see you all, well, speak to you all very soon, In I suppose. A couple of weeks, yeah. Indeed. Right, bye, everyone. See bye. you later, TBG. Bye.